What's up guys, Metallic Rock here, and today is the start of a 28 day OMAD challenge. That's one meal a day for 28 days. I've done something similar to this in the past, doing like an 18-6 hour schedule, and I wasn't very strict with it, but I made a lot of improvements in my willpower and my ability to go through situations that are uncomfortable for myself. We'll get into that some other video. Uh, I'm going to be doing weekly check-ins and a final data synthesis video where we compile all that information we get from the week and we look at it and see what we could have done differently, could have done better, and we'll do next time. The goal of this challenge is to help me lose some body fat percent. I've got a scale that measures your composition. It's not necessarily about the weight. I'm going to be doing daily cardio as well as lifting pretty often throughout the 28 days. And I'll do daily weigh-ins that will track both my weight and my composition. And we can see the trend lines on my Fitbit app to see how that actually affects us. During these 28 days, I'm going to be doing water-only fasts until dinner. So dinner and then dinner the next day will be my next meal with only water in between. When I was doing my research, it seemed that about 28 days is what is healthy for most people to do a one day, a one meal a day type fast. So with all that information out of the way, let's get into the week. doing for lunch today. We're scooping this rice that she made for her sushi burritos into this. This is a thing I do. And you just throw it back on the stove and mix everything together. And this is what we're taking for work. We're taking this for work because we were going to make some steaks that I pulled out yesterday and yet they're still frozen. So this today, steaks tomorrow. Sun Tzu in the Art of War. So I'm getting ready for work in like 20 minutes. And on top of the rice and beef vegetables, I usually bring one scoop of this trail mix. One scoop has 140 calories, so it's really not that bad. And I just eat that to kind of get my stomach started before I go and eat my dinner. So like if I know that I'm going to be eating at like 8, I'll... I'll eat the trail mix. Look at her over there. Always has something to say. I'll eat the trail mix before, and then you can literally hear your stomach start to like produce digestive enzymes, and then I'll eat my dinner after. What's up, guys? We've been really busy tonight, and a coworker tried to fight me. So more on that later, maybe at another time. We're eating now, and it's almost ten o'clock. I usually like to eat by eight. So, I guess we'll eat once we get to our delivery now. It is very good, though. The food worked out well. Okay. I'm going to take this run and finish eating. I'll see you all tomorrow. What's up guys? Day two. It's windy as fuck. We got Brittany's bike and we're taking her out on a levee for the first time. What are you thinking? Okay, let's go. How was it? It was good. What did you think you learned? You can go fast. Oh, nice. It's really windy. Yeah, I, I want to go. Alright, let's go home. 
All right, guys. So now the steaks are thought out today, and we're gonna make a marinade before we go to Target. Where are we going? Yes. Before we go to Target. Soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, basil, you know, and thyme, which is good enough. Minced garlic, which I need a spoon for. Pepper. And salt. You can add other stuff to this. I literally just typed in steak marinade and clicked on the first link, and this is what came up. All right, so we're just gonna cube up the steak. in the marinade. There's a lot of steak in here, so we're gonna do like this and just see how it looks and throw more stuff in there as necessary. So it looks okay actually, but more liquidy. I put in a lot of uh, soy sauce the first time, so probably not more soy sauce and then maybe just some like more pepper and salt and that should be good. All right, so I was just looking at the potato recipe and it says they have to soak for an hour. So we're gonna scrub like four potatoes, five potatoes. We're doing roasted potatoes with our steak. So we're just gonna scrub the potatoes down, cut them into cubes and leave them to soak for like an hour. All right, once you scrubbed your potatoes, cut them into like cubes. Once you got all your potatoes cut, you just add some cold water. Boom. And you leave those sit for like an hour. Alright, so we just got back from the store and it's been like an hour. We have to drain and dry our potatoes before tossing them. You're drying them to kind of absorb that excess moisture from the soaking on the outside so that they have that crispier bite on the outside and they still have the fluffy insides. So once we got them patted dry, we dried out our bowl. I know they're still a little wet, but I think that's going to be alright. A little bit of olive oil. Salt. Pepper, garlic powder, and some Tony Shasheries. It's really good on potatoes as well. I'm all tossed up. And then we'll put them into the oven once it's preheated for about 30 minutes uh, and checking them about halfway through, maybe to give them a turn, a little flip so that they roast more even. If you've ever cooked before, that's all we're doing, basically. Get it in there with all the marinade and we're just gonna cook it down. Mm. All right, the oven timer just dinged. So it's preheated, we're gonna get our potatoes in. And we're gonna have those go for about 30 minutes. All right, we're gonna take it off the fire. For tonight, so you need to taste this for me. good all right so now I'm gonna let the steak rest for a little while while the potatoes cook and then when the potatoes are done 
I have some steam fresh broccoli. You throw in the microwave and then I'll start packing up the meal preps for the week. All right, we got five meal preps done. The broccoli is still really hot. You're gonna to wanna to wait for that to cool down before you pack it up into the fridge. Otherwise, you're gonna get a lot of moisture in your food from the steam catching the top of the lids. But other than that, for basically like 20 minutes worth of work, while I was at Target, I was able to make meal prep for the whole week. So it's pretty easy. What's up guys? Day three. No change on the scale, but I think I have an explanation why. Just finished going to the mall to look for shoes. Nothing. Stopped at the food court, so that'll be my one meal today. It came out to about 1,400 calories. I might have an orange when I get home for fiber and that'll be it. So I just finished a walk with Brittany. I was saying earlier, I think I know the reason why the scale hasn't changed these past three days. I think it's related to the fact that I was kind of already fasting before starting the video challenge. And I had already lost water weight that you typically lose in when you start a fast. And so now hopefully that's out of the way and we're actually down to the fat. So it might be like once every three days to four days before we see a change, but we should be now at the point where the calories I'm ingesting are low enough that it's keeping the body running. And then once that's gone, we're burning fat, which is gonna take a little bit longer. So the scale will move slower, but we're now hitting the stored fat. So that's good. What's up guys? It's 1.30 in the morning. We just got back from work. Uh, I was gonna go to the gym, but my cars ended up being broken, so I spent the whole day inside on my feet. My watch even clocked an aerobic exercise while I was working in the oven. We hit like 4,000 calories burned, 22,000 steps, nine miles. So we're actually gonna take it easy today. My feet are killing me. I'm just gonna go take a shower and go to bed. What's up guys? It's day four and I'm pretty hungry, so we're doing another lunch. We've got a meal prep that we had made two days ago. And then I've got a serving of trail mix, a yo crunch, because they're gonna go bad if I don't eat them, and another Kara Kara orange. Look how red these are. They're so much sweeter than regular oranges. Uh, assuming this is about a thousand calories, which I'm actually pretty sure it's less, this whole meal comes out to 1300 calories. So that's pretty good for the day. And uh, it should fill us up pretty good with the nuts and the orange and all the steak. Because this is probably more protein than I had yesterday with that burger. So I'm going to eat now because I'm hungry. And I will see you all later. Lunch day four. We got the Doritos today. And I'll probably add a Kara Kara orange after I'm done eating this as well. What's up guys? We just did our eye appointment today. It's day five. We're eating dinner tonight. We're going out. I have off taking Brittany to a little restaurant called Bistro Byron's. It is very good. I'm excited. Just spent like an hour and a half in the eye doctor, but no big deal. What's up guys? So I went to Walmart today and I got these rice cake things. Chocolate. And so what I was thinking is, I'm eating dinner tonight and not lunch, but I don't, that's gonna be like 30 hours without eating anything. And I don't like doing that because it's not great on your stomach. Cause we're going out to a restaurant. It's home cooked food. It's not like really greasy food, but um, I still don't want that to be the first thing my stomach eats. I like to kickstart it with something else. So I thinly sliced these apples. That has a seed in it. We don't want to eat that. And my plan is I just put these thin sliced apples on this chocolate rice cake with peanut butter. And then we'll see how that is. 
another seed just fell out. I didn't cut these apples very good, I think. Whatever, it's good enough. Don't eat the seed. The chocolate rice cake kind of tastes like coffee. It's kind of weird. But it's not bad. So it's finally dinner time. I'm very hungry. How are you feeling? I'm so hungry. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> guys we just finished eating at bistro byron's huge meal i had the chicken and dumplings she had the chicken blt chicken with blt avocado. with avocado and hair so we got a free sandwich <laughs> <laughs> and uh then we had something called a pecan derby which was like a really crusty cake with chocolate chips in it and she's freezing to death <laughs> and that was really good and i'm stuffed oh and for appetizer we had like it was like a light tomato soup Eggplant. with fried eggplant parmesan you dip it in the tomato soup it was really good and that's gonna be the last meal for today the first and the last meal for today and i'll see you guys on day seven tomorrow i said it was day five earlier but i meant day six oh what's up guys we're out for another bike ride today beautiful beautiful weather the parking lot's a little packed so i think there's an event happening somewhere it doesn't look like there's too many people out on the levee either i see like some walkers some hikers people with their dogs i haven't seen anybody pass with a bike yet i see one down there actually it's looking like it's going to be a beautiful day not a cloud in the sky Brittany's not here so i'll probably be doing like 10 miles actually i might go like five miles out and then turn around but let's get into it Oh, also, I wanted to talk about, today's day seven, we did our final weigh-in, and throughout the course of this week, we lost, like, um, a, a percent and a half, almost, of body fat, pretty consistently. I weighed in at 23.1% from 24%, which is pretty, pretty good, or 24.4%, which is pretty good, so I'm pretty happy about that, uh, and I can't wait to get into next week, so let's go do our bike ride. This is such a good way to end the week. The weather is incredible. I've never been this far down the levee. And this road is so like smooth, even though it's asphalt. There's not a lot of people out. And everybody's who is out is like understands to move over if people are coming. Like, man, what a good way to end the week. We're at, as you can see that 2.27 miles right now. Haha. <laughs> um, Let's keep going. Seems to be a good bit of flooding. It rained the last couple days and I guess it pushed all the way up to the bottom of the levee there. Kind of in the middle of nowhere. This is dead field. We just hit five miles. It's been 23 minutes. So we're gonna head back. We'll call it a 10 mile day today. So pretty, man. What a nice day. Bike ride complete, guys. That second half was kind of killer. I didn't realize somehow that the whole time I was going down, we had a tailwind. So when I turned around, I was driving straight into the wind. But it wasn't too bad. I just, you know, kept my head down and kept pedaling, and we made it back. So I'm really thirsty. I got a little bit of water here that I put under the seat, and it's still kind of cool. I had ice in it, so. I'm gonna drink that and head back to the apartment and start editing because this week's over, I think. Peace out, guys. <laughs>